In this video, I will compare TickTick versus Akiflow and tell you which of these scheduling and personal task management tools may be best for you. So first, let's compare their key features and who they are really created for. So first of all, Akiflow is paid and TickTick is free. But that doesn't necessarily mean that TickTick is best for everyone because Akiflow does have some more advanced features compared to TickTick and TickTick does also have a premium plan and in the free plan you will miss many features that the premium plan offers that are pretty essential. So in this video I'll just explain their differences and tell you which one I would pick depending on your needs. So first what does Akiflow do? You can see they have a bunch of integrations with tools such as Slack, GitHub, Asana, Notion, Google Meet and a bunch more. So for example, with Notion, you can import tasks from Notion and manage them in one place, simplifying your project tracking. With Gmail, which is something I really like, you can convert your emails into tasks directly from Gmail, helping you stay organized. You can do the same with Asana, ClickUp, Zoom, and all of these integrations right here. Now you can also request an integration if the one that you want to use is not here. Now you can also set up automations between a bunch of different softwares using Zapier and IFTTT. And through these apps, you can integrate with thousands of different applications and set up automations between those. So in terms of their features, you can capture tasks, do time blocking, you can set up meeting links, you can have rituals, which are basically habits, which is something that I do like a lot. Then you have shortcuts and you can set up projects and folders. So it is for founders and C-level executives, developers, designers, marketers, sales, and for teams. In terms of pricing on Akiflow, they have two plans. You can pay monthly for the pro plan, which will be $34 per month, or you can do it yearly for only $19 per month. So that may be worth it since you can get a seven day free trial to just try it out. And then you will probably know if you like it and will be using it or not. And then you can simply go and sign up to the yearly plan. And if you want to get the seven day free trial, you can sign up to Akiflow through the link in the description. So I do kind of like their pricing structure where you just have a monthly and yearly plan. And with both of them, everything is included. But with yearly, you just save a bunch of money. Now comparing this to TickTick, TickTick has a completely free plan, which is very helpful if you are looking for a free tool. So if you are indeed looking for a free tool, you should go with TickTick, but their free plan does miss a lot of features that are pretty essential for most people. So TickTick, if we look at their features, you can see you can add tasks as well. You can turn emails into tasks, although for this, you will need to get the paid plan and you will need to forward the emails to an email address and then they will be added as a task. You can set up task durations. You can set up reminders, a location reminder, recurring tasks. Now the recurring task is a premium feature which is one of the most essential features in my opinion so that you don't have to schedule it every single day then you can clarify what you want to do next and you can use it for your calendar needs and they have a pomodoro technique timer so if you like the pomodoro technique then you can use tick tick to track that basically and you can collaborate with people that are also using tick tick and basically assign tasks so overall, should you be using TickTick or Akiflow? If you're looking for a free option, you should go with TickTick since Akiflow does have a free trial, but no permanent free plan. If you're looking for the best option and you want to really get control of your schedule and you're looking for the most aesthetic, nicest to use and with the most integrations tool, then that's Akiflow. I personally like Akiflow a lot and it's just a good software to keep track of your daily tasks. Now, on top of that, it does do a lot more. So for example, you can also use their AI Copilot to set up habits. So for example, they also have an AI Copilot that learns your habits and basically helps you track those habits. And they have 50 plus more features on top of all of these right here. Now, again, if you want to get started with Akiflow 7 day free trial, then you can click on the link in the description here, click try for free, and then you can simply get started. So that concludes this comparison of TickTick versus Akiflow. If this comparison was helpful, please consider leaving a like and subscribing to my channel. With that being said, I will see you in the next video.